We've had families that we've helped in the past who've had to drive an hour one way every day to bring home 50, 100 gallons of water daily. I think most Americans just take it for granted. You know, we've all been fortunate enough to live in a, a you know, developed country where you turn on the faucet, flush the toilets, take showers, the water's there, but does anybody really understand where it comes from? Though it's hard to believe, millions of Americans live without running water, indoor plumbing, and sanitation. Across the country, people are forced to make difficult sacrifices for access to clean, safe water for basic needs. The Groundwater Foundation recognizes these concerns and is taking action to provide help to those individuals, families, and communities impacted. Groundwater Foundation, we're focused on providing families in need with clean, affordable water. And, and that water's there for the basic need of life to provide it not only for drinking, but for the human necessity of cleanliness, their showers, their toilets, their cleaning, even for gardening for food. I think people here in the United States take the concept of having clean water for granted. We turn the faucet on, water's just there. You wake up in the morning and you scrape your teeth right away. Not only me, but four little kids. And then they're homeschooled, so they eat like all their meals here and all their snacks here. And so we're constantly having to like wash hands and faces and our washer and dryer pretty much runs non-stop. I mean, you don't realize how much you use it until you don't have it anymore. You know, they say water is to your life, and it really is, you know, you don't think about it. When you go days and different times where, you, you know, you don't dare pick up a glass of water and drink it to, you know, you have no water to shower with or to wash your dishes and things just pile up because you have to wait for, wait for water. It's unbelievable to think that it still exists here in the United States. You think that everybody has access to, you know, great living in, um, environment, but it's, it's just not the case. The last couple of years, we haven't had a lot of rain. The springs have been very dry. We had to start pumping water out of the creek. Before, living off of what we had and the pump systems we had. Um, water would fluctuate. You get, you know, good pressure, then no pressure. Or it would go back and forth. The water would surge. We have a creek down here at the bottom, so we used to either get bucket water from there, and then eventually that was kind of a pain. So what I ended up doing is putting a submersible pump in there that has this garden hose and then I'd put it on a timer and it would fill this tank, you know, I'd set it for four hours or whatever and it would pump water from this creek down here for four hours and try to keep this thing full. But then again, sometimes that worked, four hours was good enough, sometimes it wasn't. Or other times the, the pump in the creek because the water was, you know, so kind of dries out, it would just overheat and burn the pump up. And I have to go get another pump, and it's just kind of a vicious cycle, constantly, you know, one way or the other, the spring not working, the creek not working, one of the two. Right now, both of these pumps burn out. So it gets, you know, hurts after a while, you know. And it comes when you don't want it, you know. There's all different situations that come up. There's families that just, um, they can't afford the cost of well. In the United States, on average, it's somewhere between 10 and 15,000. If you repair a well, low end, 2,500, $3,000, but it can get as high as 30,000 when you're drilling new wells. So we want to target areas or families who can't afford those loans, who just, they don't have the resources, the money. Uh, a lot of times maybe they're disabled. Um, they're just strapped financially, have never thought about it. My wife takes care of everybody. Like I said, it's me, Ramon, uh, and my brother. My, my brother, and my son from time to time. We're all disabled. 
you know, uh, mentally disabled and physically disabled. But um, she goes to work, and she now she's in the process of getting a second job. So she takes care of all of us. Um, before we got the, the water, we were able to get the water today, we had a line that <laughs> went across the street, but when they put the fiber optics into the street, they cut it. So we've been having to take pails of water over there to flush, flush the toilet, toilet and, and do like other that. things. Yeah. You know? So that's been hard, mm -hmm. you know, really hard. And of course, funding is, was the major yes. issue, major issue. We couldn't yeah. get it done. We just don't have the money to get it done. You know, I have wife and kids at home, and you're working, and you have goals, and other all these other things in life that are unexpected that pop up. You know, how, how do you cover it all? And in the midst of all of this going on, our youngest son had started having seizures. It just, it adds up, and then just to have that burden lifted off, at least from my point of view, was, was, was definitely a, a sigh of relief. I know $10,000 may seem like a little amount to a lot of people, but to us, that was a lot. That was just more than we could come up with. When the groundwater people let Tara know that we were approved. Changes our life, I'll tell you. There aren't words. I mean, that was just life-changing. Yeah. I don't have a better word. Life-changing. We, we did three wells recently. And these families went through the Water World Trust and where we had partnered. And we surprised them, telling them that, you know, we're gonna cover 100% of the cost that they didn't have to worry about that financial burden. And to see that look, that expression, the emotion, the tears. Really amazing. I mean, it brought tears to both our eyes, you know, because it's, it's just amazing that it would happen like this. You know, this is something that's really unexpected. It's for our son. He wants to be independent. We want him nearby. And they said, well, we can't do it because it's not for you. Then we get this. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm just, now I'm tearing up a little. Because the people who paid for this, they're amazing. Yeah. I thank them so yes. much. Yes. And to think about someone with a mental disability because People forget that they have feelings. You know, my son has feelings. He has feelings the same way we have feelings. And he wants the same things that we want. Yes, yes. This is really going to change our life. Just to see him living the same life that we're living. Yes. Wow. I'm really not the kind of person to just start sobbing, but I feel like it, that's like the kind of stuff that you like hear happening to other people or that you see on TV but it's not something that I ever would have imagined would happen to us, because that's a huge, huge, huge chunk of money, and it's something that we can't ever, like, repay back. Um, and saying thank you is just not, like, not enough. The Groundwater Foundation has worked hard to provide clean water to many underprivileged families across the nation. But there are still countless individuals and families in need who do not have the financial resources or the ability to access the clean, safe water they deserve. Families that include U.S. veterans, disabled adults, medically fragile children, the list goes on. That is why the Groundwater Foundation is asking for your support your partnership through the Water Well Wish program. By donating to the Water Well Wish program, you will be making a difference, a life-altering change to those struggling. To make a donation and to learn more about the families featured in this video, as well as those waiting for your help, please visit waterwellwish.org.